don't have a very clear understanding of the history that has brought us to this place, then it will be really difficult, if not impossible, to look out and see the inequities and the issues that exist and have any sense of how we got here. Right? If you're looking at the present without a clear understanding of the journey that brought us to this place, if you don't understand the history of law enforcement in this country, particularly law enforcement as it relates to peoples of color, right? then a movement like Black Lives Matter won't make sense. Right? Because if you don't understand the history of law enforcement, not just like in the last couple of years, right? but for decades and for generations, then when black and brown folks rise up and say and insist Black Lives Matter, it makes a lot of sense for you if you don't know that history to go, well now, wait a minute, hold on just a minute. What, what about my life? Well, don't all lives matter? What about my life? You know, that makes sense if you don't understand the way that specifically black life has been discounted, right? If black life specifically has not mattered, then it's obvious as to why you might need to articulate that. But if you don't know the history, you don't realize how it's been discounted. And you get all tripped up on yourself. Well, what about my life? We're not the ones profiled. We're not the ones who, in, who endure stop and frisk, whether in New York or now the president says he wants to bring that to the whole country. It's not going to affect us in the name of the war on drugs. We know that black folks are four times more likely to be arrested for weed even though white folks use, possess, and deal weed at the very same rate as African American folks. They draw a big red line around the neighborhood and anybody who lived in that border, anybody who lived within those lines was not gonna get a loan. And it didn't matter if you had a good job, didn't matter what your education was, didn't matter what your credit record was. If you lived in that neighborhood, you were not getting a loan. You weren't gonna get a housing loan, you weren't gonna get a business loan, you weren't gonna get an equity loan, you weren't getting nothing, no, no, absolutely nothing. Um, and so redlining was a practice that ultimately starved black urban neighborhoods in particular of capital, right? It had nothing to do with the capital worthiness of the people there. It had to do with the whims, the prejudices, and the racism of those in the banking industry who were helped along in that by the government. 